So in corning, 49 to eight is the lead. I didn't stumble. 49 to eight, corning. Leading Ithaca. In Waverly tonight, it is Maine Edwell midway through the third quarter, leading Waverly 35-14. Almost comparable, I guess, as far as scores are concerned. Here we go once again. It is third and two for Ithaca. And they're going to give it to Michaels. And Mike Jones carrying the ball instead. Two Corning players are down. One gets up immediately. The second one a little groggy in the process. Want to check on his condition, make sure he's okay. That's Josh Naylor. Looks like Naylor's going to stay in the game. Well, I spoke, I spoke a little bit too soon. He's going to leave. And taking his place will be Joe Trosha. Well, it was a first down carry, so first and ten now. Ball rolls on the surface, Booth picking it up. Now he'll run with the ball. And that broken play actually produced about a five-yard gain, maybe a six-yard gain. Second down now and about two, second and two in the red zone. Ball is on the Corning 18-yard line. On the sideline, Kelly Gordon calling one of his players over. Well, I guess he's going to call the, the entire team over. So they will have a, a timeout and a, a discussion out there. Benchmark Audio reminds you cold days are approaching. So don't forget Benchmark Audio for your vehicle remote starters. Choice Auto Glass is your, it's your vehicle, it's your choice at choiceautoglass.com. Sponsoring tonight's ball game. And Appliance Services Unlimited. If you have a major problem with your oven, your refrigerator, your dryer, or your washer, call the crew at ASU Appliance Services Unlimited. And a broadcast on Big Fox TV, brought to you in part by Simmons Rockwell Ford. Now with more than 400 new Ford models in stock. Shop the savings online at Simmons-Rockwell.com. Well, after the timeout, the red back on the field, second down and three. We've just begun the fourth quarter at Memorial Stadium in Corning. Mason Booth. And he find look out, oh, Mason. Sacked by no less than two men from Corning. Leading the way, Kyle Jankowski. KJ, his name has been called multiple times tonight. And Mike Donardo. Third down and 13 after the loss. Back to the 27 yard line. Long throw in the end zone and picked off. Fox defensive coverage once again. Results in a turnover. And intercepted by Deshaun Fuller. Well, that was 
Now they tell me it was Brendan Hogue and not Fuller. And apologies to you, Brendan. Five, six, 150 pound junior defensive back. Josh Naylor comes to the sideline and will get some attention. Now just arriving with the play, Joey Ott. Ott goes in motion, but it's a running play. They pitch it to Ott, he jungles it. And Joey Ott on an angle to the first down marker, and I think he got it. It was a, a little indecisive there for a moment. Kean Collins will leave the ball game. Eric Santa Maria coming in. Also entering the contest for the Hawks will be Hunter Wright. And coming out of the game will be Keegan Smith. So George Bacallis has decided that there are going to be a few new wrinkles in that game, and this will be a running play. Santa Maria bumped once, twice, and somehow he is able to elude would-be tacklers, got his way, had his way out to the 45-yard line. Somehow I'm uh, not picking up that number again. Brendan Hogue on the carry. Well, it's definitely to Hogue. The nine and the eight are very similar there in terms of looking at them, but um, yes, it definitely is Hogue. Hogue once more to the 45. And now Hogue will exit the game. A little over eight minutes remaining. Corning leading 49 to eight. The only Ithaca score occurring late in the first quarter. This is a busted play that really goes nowhere. And getting tripped up was uh, Andrew Bellio. Again, Hawks are set. And the running play right now, Joey Ott. Ott continuing to run, spun around and pushed out of bounds. Dylan Wolf is now the quarterback for the Corning Hawks. Wolf handling off and just a, a quick sprint to the left side. Fuller carries the football to Sean Fuller. Got a hole opening up on the 30 yard line and crosses to the 29. We have a shuttle of players in and out. Ali Rahimi. 
in the game now for Corning. Hawks keeping it very simple. Deshaun Fuller. And maybe a yard if he's even fortunate out there. So we're down to six minutes to play in regulation. Dylan Wolf gets the call from his coach, George Bacallis. Corning trying to exploit the, the middle of the, of the line there. Running behind center. And they'll be stopped short of the 25 yard line. This will be another running play for the Hawks. Fuller to the 20, the 19 yard line. And that will be a first down. They're gonna mark it right on the 20 with exactly five minutes left in contest. So for the benefit of those of you who might be listening tonight but would like to see the game, the video replay, You'll have two opportunities on Sunday evening, seven o'clock and 10 o'clock. We'll give you the locations, another running play that goes nowhere. WJKP will feature the game Sunday night at seven o'clock. And if you missed that showing, check out WYDC, Big Fox TV 13 in Corning, 10 p.m. Sunday evening. So we have second down and nine at the 19 yard line of Ithaca. Number of different players in there for Corning, keeping them fresh. And this will be a simple bread and butter play where you just hand off to Fuller again and he just runs it through the front door. Bell, you carrying the football. <laughs> Andrew Bell, you is a 5'7, 165 pound senior running back. So he's getting uh, his baptism, so to speak, out there tonight. Earlier in the evening, it was the running and scoring of Collins and Rodriguez, Fisher. Fisher had to leave after what appeared to be a leg cramp and so his evening ended a short time ago. But walking around and that is a good thing. Bellew another carry, so he'll add up uh, some yardage before the night is out. And Corning just basically showing good clock management out there. They have a fourth down and two. And the ball is at the nine yard line. Let's call it first down, first and goal at the nine for the Hawks. Wolf will pitch to Fuller. Fuller to the five, the four, the three. He did fumble the ball out of bounds, so it's short of the goal line. Appears to be about the two on the uh, deep far corner. So it brings down second, uh, second and goal at the two yard line. Dylan Wolf spelling Brett Van Wart late in the ball game. Wolfie in there right now. 
and trying to help add to the, the cause for the Corning Hawks. Checks out the play clock as it continues to run down. The snap, the give, and forward for what looks to be a touchdown, yes. They're gonna credit Joey Ott with the touchdown, the two yard run with a minute 41 to go. And the Hawks will attempt the single point try. And the extra point attempt is good. So 56 to eight with 141 to go in the fourth quarter. And after a frustrating start of the season in which they went 0-3, Hawks are gonna break into the win column this evening. And Ithaca's going to have to wait till their next outing to try to see if they can that first win of the year. off by Hogue. A little indecision out there. Ball will be taken at the 14-yard line. The special teams taking care of business and they rock the receiver back to the 14-yard line. Trosha in on the, the tackle. And so we'll have a minute 36 left for Ithaca. See if they can pull anything out here late in this contest. Now it's just a matter of time. Corning felt that they, and then uh, as you heard Coach Bucalis tell us in his pregame discussion, that we challenge, he and his staff challenge the kids this week in practice. And they certainly responded in a big way tonight. This is a running play across the 20 to the to the 23 yard line. Mike Jones on the carry. So Ithaca just primarily are just going to go with the clock management. They'll check the play clock, which is down to nine seconds. Six, five, four. And the snap, low snap. And a running play once more for Mike Jones to carry the football. And we're under a minute to go in the contest. Hogue makes the tackle and he also helps Jones up. So uh, a display of sportsmanship out there. Well, fans, once again, I want to remind you the, the game will be played twice on WJKP at 7 o'clock on Sunday night and Big Fox TV, WYDC, 10 p.m. Sunday evening. David Baker in the WELM studios in Elmira at the helm this evening. I'm Bob Michaels. That's a bad snap, and it's going to roll all the way back, and they might want to fall on it 
before it goes in the end zone, which they do at the two. Nine seconds remaining. There won't be time for another play. This one is going to end right here and right now with the final 56 to eight. This game is definitely a final and it is the Corning Hawks that will win their first game of the season convincingly over the Ithaca Little Red. I'm Bob Michaels for our entire broadcast crew, radio, TV, and internet saying so long from Corning, New York. And don't forget to join us tomorrow afternoon at Horseheads when the Raiders host Elmira. Good night, everybody.